Hi there, I'm here with my bass today and I'm working on Cotton Eye Joe. And this is a really fun song to play because you get to slap your bass. So we're gonna to get to that on the second half of the song. Here we go from the beginning. It says pizzicato. I am not gonna use my bow at all. So I just took it and I just set it aside and I'm not gonna even worry about it. It's pizzicato the whole time through. Remember that I'm putting my thumb in the middle of this section from here where the bass starts to the end of the fingerboard. I'm going to put my thumb right in the middle there. Okay. It says D and A. My A is at the bottom of the staff. So I need to make sure that I'm doing my open A for this song. Okay. So I have D and open A. And it starts like this. D, rest, A. Rest, A, rest. And my hand is ready to go. A, B, C sharp, D. Those notes are all similar to E and F sharp on the D string, but they're A, B, and C sharp. Okay, we're on the A string there. Okay, I want to keep my elbow up for that. Okay, so um, one thing that people tend to forget is that they have so many open strings that their hand kind of drops down like this. Rest. And then you're just going on on these open strings for so long and all of a sudden you have notes and you're not ready. So keep your hand in place and hovering over that A string so that you can put those fingers down right when it's time. So here it is on measure four. I'm going to practice four into measure five on the next line a couple of times so I get used to that. A, B, C sharp, D. And I'm going to do that again. A, B, C sharp, D, and again. Okay, if you look ahead at measure eight, it's the same notes. So the better that I can get on measure four, it'll just transfer to the next one. Okay, here I am on measure five, rest, rest. Still using my open A string, rest, rest. A, B, C sharp, D. Now I'm on measure nine. When I have, instead of doing a rest, I'm going to slap my fingerboard just like that. D, A, D, A, D. Here I have notes in a row, but they're all D's and A's, so it's a little bit easier. A. Just don't get lost. That's your main goal. I have a D there because I'm going back to the measure one. See, I have a repeat sign. So here's measure 16. Here's measure one, rest. And that's where people get off a lot of times. So I'm going to practice measure 15, 16, and 1 a few times to get real good at that. Here's 15. 16, 1, okay, and now let's do it again, 15, 16, 1, 2, and, and so forth. Now I'm going to look down at the bottom of the page at measure 17. I have a whole rest, so that means that I'm going to count to 4. Plus, I have a quarter rest right after that. So I'm going to count to four plus one more. It's going to sound like this in my head. One, two, three, four, one, play. So here it is. One, two, three, four, one. Easy enough, right? One more time. One, two, three, four, one. All right, and now I'm going to play the whole song all the way straight through without any stops and with the repeat sign up to speed. Thank you. 
Thanks for listening.